In this video I want to shed a little light on the concept of creatine as a nootropic. Considering its method of action, it seems astoundingly under-talked about in the nootropics community. Although, it's starting to gain some recognition, mostly for improving what's called fluid intelligence. Even if you've never lifted a weight in your life, you've probably heard of creatine. One of the most researched supplements in history, by the way. Creatine is not a steroid. It is a combination of three amino acids produced naturally within the body. It's also naturally found in meats and fish, though at far lower levels than in the bulk powder sold at GNC. By transporting extra energy into your cells, it reduces fatigue. Creatine helps regenerate levels of adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, a main energy source used by the body. In order for a muscle to contract, it must break off a phosphate molecule from ATP. As a result, ATP becomes ADP, adenosine diphosphate. The problem is that you can't use that for energy, and your body only has so much stored ATP. The fix? ADP takes a phosphate molecule from your body's stores of creatine phosphate, forming more ATP. This is how it's able to enhance athletic performance. A study was published in 2003 by Australian researchers in the publication Proceedings of the Royal Society that showed creatine increases not only the amount of energy available to muscles, but also the brain, which assisted in computational tasks, improved overall mental ability, and reduced mental fatigue. A lot of these studies used up to 8 grams of creatine a day in their trials. It should be stated that the recommended usage is 5 grams a day. After some playing around with dosages for a while, I discovered that my ideal was about 2.5 grams to get the most out of it, because, as always, effects will differ as much as individual physiologies do. So I use it at lower dosages and intermittently, and I've still received positive results. It should also be stated that a pound of beef contains up to 3 grams of creatine. So if you're a big meat eater, your body may be supplied with as much creatine as it's going to use at any given time. In which case, you may not see any added benefit from supplementing with creatine. Something to be mindful of for those ready to call bullshit. Personally, there are times when I'm studying, and this is purely anecdotal, mind you, but there are times when I'm ready to quit studying whatever. Lately, it's been Japanese, and just watch YouTube videos instead, or some other unproductive time killer. But when I slam some creatine, I seem to have more mental stamina and focus. But that's only been my experience. Again, effects vary.